what I want to argue, and what I ended up arguing in, in, in some work I've done on Burning Man and Google, is that the mode of gathering that we see in the desert here is um, a kind of emblem of new modes of manufacturing that are emerging across the tech industry and migrating from the tech industry into other spaces. Let me take it a little bit slowly. In the 19th century, Max Weber talked about the Protestant ethic and how it shaped industrial production. I want to argue that Burning Man is to contemporary new media production what the Protestant church was to industrial production in the 19th century. If you lived in Pittsburgh in the 19th century, you would go to church with your other factory mates, your steel mill mates, the executives would sit up front, middle management would be right behind them, and you, the workers, would be in the way back. Here at Burning Man, if you've, if you've been, wait, a quick check, how many have actually been to the playa? <laughs> I love this room, thank you, that's great. Okay, so if you've been to the playa, you know that um, this is a space of kind of radical individuality and radical collaboration. People go to the playa, um, they buy a ticket, they leave their money ostensibly mostly behind, um, they drive out and they work on art projects together, they work collaboratively. And when they get out there, they're extraordinarily visible to one another. They can see one another, they can make art. It's a weirdly individuated and collective place. It's a place where you can build new social networks and new technological goods at the same time. It is in many ways, I would argue, a model of a project-based technology-centered economy. But it's done in a spiritual idiom. It's a place to practice the deepest values on which the engineering culture of Google depends. And it's partly for that reason that things like whole earth emblems and whole earth ideology recur in a place like Facebook, which is otherwise a company devoted to profiting from mass surveillance. Mm -hmm.